for number 26, we have a very typical type of word problem um, where we're traveling along a river and your trip takes different times if you go with the current or against the current and we need to find the speed of the boat uh, or in this case, the speed of the current, but you need to find both. So we need to set up a system of equations. So we know that a man traveled from town A to town B along a river by speedboat. The 200 mile trip took two hours going downstream, but the return trip took three hours. So what we know is a couple of things. We know we need to use the equation distance equals rate times time. We know that in one way, um, and coming back the exact same way, the distance is 200 miles each way because he's traveling the same distance. But the first one took two hours. That's with the current. And the return trip took three hours, so that one's going to be against the current because it took longer. So we want to find the speed of the current. So just using this information, we can definitely build a system of equations. So we know that for the first trip, using d equals rt, so for trip 1, the d is 200. So our rate. So here's where our variables come in. There's two things that we don't know. We don't know the speed of the boat, and we don't know the speed of the current. So let's call the rate b plus c. And we know that it's plus because you're going with the current on that rate, uh, on that trip. So your speed of your boat and the current is helping you along. So our speed must be the speed of our boat plus the speed of the current. And you know that the time took two hours. So on the return trip, you also have, or trip two, let's call it, you also want 200 miles. But now your boat is going against the current. So your actual speed is going to be B minus C because the current is going against your boat and that trip took three hours. So now doing some factor or distributing here we get that 200 equals 2B plus 2C and 200 is also equal to 3B minus 3C. And now we just have a system of equations that we can solve. So the best way to do this one would probably be elimination. Since C already has a negative sign here and a positive sign there, that one makes the most sense to uh, cancel out. So we just need to get the coefficients to be the same. So since we have 2 and 3, we need to make them both 6, meaning we need to multiply the top equation by 3, the bottom equation by 2. So what we'll get then is 600 equals 6b plus 6c. And on the second equation, we'll get 400 equals 6b minus 6c. And now we can just add both equations together, and that will get rid of our c's, and we can solve for b. So if we add these together, we're going to get 1,000 equals 12b. So we can find our speed of our boat this way. So if we divide this over, 1,000 divided by 12 would reduce to 250 over 3. And that's not reducible because 250 is not a multiple of 3. Now the question asks us for the speed of the current, so we need to find C. But once we have that, or once we have B, we can easily figure out C by plugging in to either of the other equations. So, just to make life a little bit easier, and this is a good tip you can use here, our b is something that's over 3. So, we might as well plug into this equation, or this one, whichever form you want, because we're going to be multiplying that by 3, so that will get rid of the denominator for us. So, if we plug in there, we're going to get 200 equals 3 times 250 over 3 minus 3c. And now we only have c and we'll be able to figure this out. So you can get divide or cancel out the 3's. If we subtract over uh, 250, we'll get negative 50 equals negative 3c. And then by dividing both sides by negative 3, we get that c is equal to 50 over 3. And that gives us answer choice b.